copulas, the linking verb, um, specifically the be verb. Okay, they come in two different forms, present tense and past tense. Present tense is am, is, are, and past tense was, were. Copulas mainly serve as a carrier for tense and subject agreement, and because they carry subject agreement, we're using them in ours. Um, the B can be followed by a noun, adjective, or a preposition. Uh, this is a chart from our textbook called the Grammar Book. Um, and as you can see for first person, copula, uh, copula B is used for uh, both present tense, present tense am, are, and uh, we do have some for is right here, but that's used for third person. For past tense, was, were are used, just like we said before. Um, second person, you can use the present tense form of it, are, and for past, you can have the singular were, plural were, works for both. Um, third person, same thing, only you use is, which is um, present tense, of course, and then they are. So for plural, you would have the plural form for present tense. And then was, were, make sure y'all can see this, um, for past. Um, an example of this we have for you a couple of sentences. I am a doctor. I is singular, so it receives the singular verb am, which is a B verb. Uh, yeah, B copula. They are good people. They, as you can see, is plural noun and re receives the plural verb are. Um, am and are, in this case, are examples of the copula B. Hi, y'all. Wrapping up with the subject verb agreement, we're going to cover the B verb and the difference, differences between copula and auxiliary. Um, for auxiliary, we have um, three cases in which um, the copula B is used um, and it becomes an auxiliary. And for example, um, in the sentence, uh, Sue is a doctor, the copula B verb is acting as the main verb. It's still a copula. For an auxiliary, however, acting as a helping verb in the case in which Sue is taking a walk. Main verb, taking, and the copula B in this form is, is actually helping the main verb, taking. So same in this case, you have B helping the main verb able to, B helping the main verb going to, therefore making it an auxiliary and not just a copula. Um, this happens in, since this is progressive, be going to, and in passive, be able to. Okay, and that wraps up our topic for today.